So here I'm going to demonstrate a picture box control. So here's my form. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put a picture box out here. And, you know, it's kind of a small picture box. You're probably going to want to resize it so it's appropriate for the application. So as with our other examples, I'm going to change uh, the name. I'm going to change it to a prefix PIC for picture box. And I'll call that my picture. And then there's some properties. The next thing you want to do is you want to choose an image that you're going to use. So if you select the image property in the ellipsis, you'll get a dialog that allows you to do that. There's also this little arrow right here. Um, this just kind of is the properties that are most commonly used for that particular control. And so you can get through it here as well. So I'm going to choose a local resource. That just means it's an, um, a picture that's on my computer. And I'm going to choose import. And on my desktop, I have a folder called VB Pictures, and I just have this um, picture of Android Marshmallow that I use for my app development course. Um, and then I'll choose OK. Now, I don't really see it now. Actually, it's out there, but it's just uh, not centered or anything. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to uh, look at the size mode properties. Keep in mind you can also get them uh, right here as well. You can see the different ones. Well, I'll try them from here. You can use um, stretch image. Uh, and when you choose stretch image, it just resizes it to fit in the picture box. Uh, you can choose auto size which will make the picture box pretty much as big as the picture. So I don't want to do that. Um, center image, you know, that is centering it, but you're not seeing the whole thing. Um, zoom. So I generally just use, um, you know, stretch image. But zoom also um, will, you know, resize it to fit in the uh, picture box without losing any aspect ratio. You know, that's the width and height ratio. So you can use zoom, you can use stretch image, and then when you click here, right, and this will kind of show you the difference also. So I'm going to go to um, my size mode, and I'm going to change that to stretch image. And so see, yeah, the aspect ratio is a little different, but this will kind of fill the fill the picture box. So you can decide what you want to do. Uh, so there's a picture box, and um, you can create events with picture boxes. So you can have them do something if um, the user clicks on a picture box. So I think I'll show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, put a label on my form, and um, I'm going to change the label's name to LBL message. Oops. And I'm going to change its text property just to say uh, I love Android. So here's my little uh, text box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this text box and I'm going to change its visible property uh, to false. Now when you change it to false, you still see it here, but when I run my application, okay, you don't see it at all. All right. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a click event for my picture. So in order to do that, I'm just going to double click on the picture and it's going to bring me in here to um, my picture box click event, right? Here's the code for that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make my label visible if they click on it. So I'm going to choose LBL message dot and I'm going to update the visible property. And I'm going to set that to uh, true. So what's going to happen now is if they click on the picture, this will appear. So let me run it now. OK. 
okay and then when I click on the picture my message appears